now that we're exploring the wilds of Elfgard, we can encounter all kinds of uh, monsters and things that attack me. So here's the legendary Sea Slime. Pretty painful one to hit on my first battle because a little bit more aggressive than the regular slimes. Um, but we'll persevere. Definitely feeling the pain here of not having purchased a weapon yet. Um, going with the leather shield. So I guess that was a little bit of a rookie mistake, but um, something we can correct quickly. Now we'll maybe just uh, speed things up a little bit so you don't have to watch quite the extent of the um, repetitive monster slaying as I build up a little bit of extra cash, but um, here we go. Alright, time to arm myself. I will get a bamboo stick with a little bit of cash I've scraped up to help speed up the monster killage just a little bit. And that triumphant tone, we have a level up, so I get to increase my stats a little bit, get a little bit more HP, eventually learn some spells, um, and it, the pace will pick up. Draki is one of the second most iconic creature in the Dragon Warrior universe, after the slime, so I've always thought they're pretty cute. Um, they get a little bit more magical as you progress, and uh, always up to funny little playful hijinks. And we have our first spell, Heal. So we can largely eliminate the need to use herbs from this point forward as long as we maintain a bit of MP. And that will help preserve some precious inventory space.
And at last we have Fireball. Um, I've never found this to be a terribly useful spell in this game. If you arm yourself well, it's still a single attack, so it usually is similar to what you get from a weapon, but um, we do now have the ability to attack with magic. Finally built up enough money for another visit to the weapon and armor shop, so let's uh, get my leather armor. That'll help me not have to visit the uh, inn quite as often, and let me build up a little bit more money and experience each time I'm out in the field. Alright, we'll take a little pause from the enemy healing, the grinding, the gold building, and we're going to visit Erdrich's tomb. Um, so it's very dark in here, so we'll use one of those torches. And now we're going to explore. Uh, fortunately, there's no monsters in this place. I guess Erdrich's influence has kept them away from this sacred place. So have got to find the, uh, I guess, cairn or altar for my ancestor and see what I can learn. much less gloomy little location, so this uh, will now tell us a little bit more about what our actual quest is going to entail. So um, we now have some missions and objectives.
now that I've raised 180 gold, I can get the Copper Sword, which is the highest weapon available here in Breconary. So once that purchase is complete, I have all the best equipment this town has to offer, and I can uh, advance my quest to the next town, given that my levels and everything have achieved that. So I'll just quickly heal up, visit the king, and save this progress, and then we can carry on. So now I'll ask the king to record my adventures in his adventure book, just to make sure that if something bad happens or I get a power out, I don't lose all my progress. In Dragon Quest, you don't actually lose. There's no game over. If you die, you just go back to the king. He takes half your gold, you're revived. But um, power outs and other events like that can be quite upsetting. So save, uh, then once saved, the king will ask, do we actually want to continue? or do you want to have a rest? So that's the um, successful way to turn the game off if you don't want to risk damaging the battery with those old Nintendo games. So in this case, I'll say yes, let's have a rest. And uh, that will end this portion of our Dragon Quest adventure.